also uh, release the trauma of Atlantis, the planet. And that's where I, I connected to the Andara crystals, which I didn't even know existed. Uh, quite exciting. And also uh, the grid work we did with Laura and I connected to the uh, crystal source being that's yeah. one of the aspects. Well, yeah. What people don't realise, these are all shocks I don't expect to do. <laughs> I don't expect these. So the journey goes and we don't know where it goes. Yeah. It's changed. Yeah. And that pyramid in the sky. Yeah. Glass crystal sort of one. Someone's actually told me that that's a, that's a, port, a, a gateway. Uh, I can't remember what they said, but someone's actually told me recently it is such a pyramid that they, they recognize it and it's like a gateway. Um, yeah, I've, I've gone to review timelines so many times. It's a very interesting place. And it's connected to uh, the Celestial Pyramid Network. It, yeah. uh, it's one of the ones that shoots out Christ consciousness. Uh, mm. It's the only pyramid that I actually know that does that. It shoots out Christ consciousness out of the top. All the other ones <clears throat> were, they call it Earth anyways, and a lot of the other ones, the Celestials, it's either a purple light. Uh, recently, I think it's been upgraded to like a rainbow energy, but the golden light pyramid is that Celestial one. Now it's a special pyramid for sure. The grid works. How many times the grid's been under attacks? We've gone in to clear out the grids. We've encountered archons. We've, we've caught a few of them. Sent them back to source for rehabilitation. So many entities. Mm. Cleared off. So many, so many unusual ones. Yeah. Oh man! Uh, I've been I've been to Orion three times. I don't need to go on holiday anymore because I'm too scared to go on holiday. <laughs> <laughs> um, all that work on Orion is. Um, I think I got some messages that is is totally at peace now. Like it, the whole the is surrounded with alliance ships. Everything's there's a peace in the universe now. Uh, there's, so there's no more. Um, like galactic battles going on. And then we got that last mission we did. We got to participate in the whole Earth Ascension events with the Galactics. That was just awesome. I, I uh, during the healing event, I, did, I had to go back to Orion because it, they'd employed mercenaries to do some work. So they were still doing a bit of work on there, but they were using mercenaries from the other side of the planet. Um, I went there and I brought back some uh, gooey spiders, black gooey spiders. Obviously, luckily, one of the healers at the healing center I go cleared it from me. And I, I forgot to cleanse, <laughs> I, I forgot to ground and cleanse because we sometimes you just forget that sort of thing. We discovered the infinity portal together. You remember that? Oh, yeah, that rainbow portal. And I was like. And it goes to every timeline reality. We also went to the. Did we go to the crystal dimension or the crystal planet? I forget which. Well, so it was, was both. There was the crystal planet and the crystal dimension. Yeah. And some of the beings were not fully crystal. They were a bit like our structure, but with crystal. Yes, um, sir. They, they were like turning into us, like we like to turn into crystalline. They were doing like the opposite, which is quite fascinating. It could have been on an earlier path because when you're at the higher vibrations of source, you have the lower vibrations for further experience. Obviously, if we're on Earth, we had a lower in so many different levels to be able to experience this, right? Yeah. We we, uh, we got a we got the crystal from there, didn't we? And we put it into it. We merged it into the crystalline uh, the energy from there. If I remember. Yeah, there was a big mission. Oh, yeah, and we went there for the uh, Crystal Rainbow Pyramid to uh, yeah. the, the, the whole Ryan mission. There. Um, we, we did a mission, I remember, around the presidential campaign, uh, clearing out the energies of New York and all that other stuff. Mm -hmm. 
And that's when we first became aware of the horsemen. The horsemen just came, the four horsemen just came out of nowhere. That was interesting. It was definitely a confirmation of the end of times. Um, sure. Oh, what else do we do? There's so much. Yeah, and then uh, so we're going to do a, a pre warm up. We don't know what's going to happen here, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to depend on a 2 2 possibility port. tree of life and the goddess of the sea, of the healing sea, of the earth, goddess of earth, and the same thing, possibly. All right, yeah. All right, let's connect. So I'm connect my pillar of light. So what I what I was getting was to merge the frequencies of mm -hmm. the tree of life in the angelic realm at the twelfth frequency of the twelfth dimension um, and bring it right into the inner earth uh, tree of life. So we can see what the goddess is doing there. So we'll connect fields of light. Tension uh, will merge with the har universal harmonic frequency 12. To access the 12th dimension or the angelic realm, the highest level of this universal structure. Assistance here is to guide us, drag consciousness. I'm getting, I'm getting the East such a world as a magic planet. Well, that's up to you. Don't, that might be Tuesday you night. Know. Where Merlin got its uh, power from. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, so this is really big, really big energies here. It just looks like energies, but they're going to put they ascended master hearts to make it visible to us, like within this tree, within this frequency. It's obviously a golden light frequency. We're just going to connect our hearts with the tree of life's heart, the ascended master heart. That's the Halloween archangels. And this tree of life. We'll go into it, right into the heart portal of it. There's a lot of green energies within it. Um, we're healing the core. Guys, heart center. We'll just be the conscious of this tree, merge the frequencies, the consciousness of this tree, all the unconditional love and the healing attributes 
the universal knowledge. Missing genes for all the missing. Light strands that everybody needs. We just create a portal to shoot this strand of light right into uh, Stonehenge, right? Yeah. So how are we going to take this down? Are we going inside the tree or what? Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. 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 we got to uh, integrate these frequencies within our heart. Energy code. Uh, knowledge. Light. And then we're going to merge. Also, we're going to invite the collective parts. They're going to need this for their awakenings. So we're just going to merge with the field of the collective heart. So our field is going to be one and the collective field is going to be one. So we'll create a middle field. And we're just going to take that middle field with us. We'll wait straight through the portal of Stonehenge. Right in this frequency, it's a green. It's a green frequency. Gold, gold, and a green light. We're just gonna bring it through Stonehenge. We can ride in our dragons. Heaven, heaven, the Galactics are gonna assist us here. They're connecting our consciousness with, with our field to bring to all uh, Earth here. It's like a big ball of light in front of us, and we're just gonna force it right in, go right through the portal, through the gates, the earth, both gates and the earth, the river Nile, straight to the tree of life, to the heart, the tree of life and inner earth, insert this frequency right into it, this big ball of light, the collective field, Slide out pulses on top of the tree. Towards, I guess, it's coding and they're coding it right now. There's elves. There's elves and they're coding it within the tree. Kind of they're coding the energy. I guess they're grounding it. So it's pouring through to the chakras of the earth. It's creating an interesting circular like rainbow like hue. Almost like that uh, when the sun has that so really rainbow right and, uh, so now it's around the earth it's like a halo of the earth on frequency in a way cleans in the air I've been guided to use the sea of light, uh, the sea from the underworld, the uh, angelic sea. To give everyone some uh, upgrade their energies.
Can you have a frequency change increasing? I can feel it. I'm trying to change this goddess now. She's with Gaia. They are entered. She's merging with Gaia. <clears throat> Bringing up these frequencies and we put it into our hands right now. Bring it in uh, other frequencies here. You see the goddess. Oh, wait. I don't know if you're seeing this. She's got a star. I've never seen that. I think she's got an energizer. Well, the elementals for the smokes. Elementals are coming in like crazy right now. We're bringing this to all the forests, all the other. Anyone watching this, just just connect to uh, our chakras. You can feel the energy in here. to help me integrate the frequency just got way more intense. I've actually got pain in my heart chakra, so I think I'm getting released some energy. Uh, Anyone feel this? Just do big breaths if you feel pain. Got this emerald. Dragon is like golden with emerald eyes, like just powerful. Whoa, setting the flame through this is just nuts, dude. Right up into the grids. Oh my god, this is like the highest price light. Whoa, that is nuts. Whoa, okay, that was just crazy. It's going through the galactic grids as well. Planetary frequencies are receiving this. It's just going through the whole universe. The Stargate, oh, that makes sense because of the Stargate. Yeah, right. The Stargate's for nothing about that. It's going to complete all gene sequences for anything that was left. Sophia codes. This is so weird, man. I'm so feeling nervous with us like this. Just for all these frequencies. Just create the rainbow bridges for all the frequencies. So they're, so they're just working at the higher levels of all the dimensions, uh, filling in the voice of the frequencies and everything. Oh, that is deadly. 
uh, to the outer grids, the 12 dimensional ones, not the galactic ones, but the outer, the outer grids. <coughs> This is Zeus is sending blue lightning through, clearing the frequencies of the other grids, raising the vibrations. Because the outer grid's got to receive this upgrade as well. This is just spin some pockets of control. Just clearing them out. I just need a little boost. Uh, a little diamond blue ray, a little diamond blue lightning. I'm getting violet flame as well. Upgrade to the outer grids. Power up. Oh my god. Pure source light. Can you see all the dragons around? It's just it's everything. This is everything. Every consciousness you can imagine. Yeah. It's here. The guardians. The guardians of the nine rounds are here. Are the guardians. They're actually assisting. Whoa, pure rainbow heart energy. Wow. That is insane. It's a great time. You're assisting all. You're assisting you. Assist everyone. As Earth ambassadors, bringers of light, you've done so well. Shift within yourselves. Shift the realities of others. Shift the, shifting the grids. This universal structure. We're working now collaboration. Shift all, all the shifting, the entire universe, the black grids, Gaia's core, the universal grids at the outer core of this universal system. We are the guardians of the nine realms. Stoey, Atubi, Atubi. Ashtar, Anaki, Sales, Chinoa, 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 Peace, peace, peace. It's all coming through. We are going to continue to help them in the astro when we're sleeping. This is going to go on for days. You're tired and fully charged at the same time. This is a big shift. Um, guy, uh, as you are aware, you're assisting well. You are honored. 
in the heart chakras with all, with all the work you've done. Anyone watching this, that, that your vibration could be lifting, you could be in pain, it's just to accept it. It's like your body's becoming crystalline a bit. Gifts, sound consciousness, the seven cents for your heart chakra. It's just to expand more. You are perfect. Your expansion is great. You become better. Intuitive abilities. Your awareness, your transformation as masters, leaders in the world, shows of light. Thank you. Ourselves. All is one. We bid you peace. The hearts of all on your planet. It is a glowing moment. We'll continue to expand to all shifts. You'll still see. You'll still see the support that you have. With your two eyes, be ready for these all. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Let's go up to Gaia. Seems to go up to Gaia. Um, all right, so let's just go back through the portal. Back to the portal, the Stonehenge. Let's just call back our consciousness from the 12th frequency. Call back our consciousness. Who's that Stonehenge here? I'm just going to stay at Stonehenge. Call back our consciousness. Surrounded with the light beams. Call back our consciousness to this now moment. Unmerging. The 12th dimension, the 12th universal frequency, 12 merging, merging, merging. Let's allow our higher self, more soul group, to continue to finish the integration across all systems. And we'll ground these frequencies, breathing them in as we all get upgraded. Exhaling it out the soul's four feet, grounding all this energy. Right to Gaia. I'm going to to Gaia. Seems to be revealed. It's approaching time for all of our members approaching you. For those who are aware, they will remember. Those who are aware, it will have to work. I'm actually going to be using my hands to ground this as well, sending it out my hands because there's just so much frequency and light. Feel strength to She says it's always with the people. out part. Set some attentions for everybody here for all this because there was so much energy for it to integrate with peace and grace. What I'm getting, David, is the only like the Predator network, the crystalline, the Andara crystal, the grids that are all connecting. This is not this is not happened since uh, Earth got took over. This is an insane, an insane activation. But just everybody just keep focusing on sending the light through your feet or your hands straight into Gaia. All excess energy, all these codes anchoring into Gaia, all the grids, pyramid networks, cigars, inner earth crystals, the whole structure flowing through. Light. So 
firelight. It's firelight. This must be from dragons. The dragon fire. Yeah, it must be. So it looks like uh What color can you say? Uh, it, it, it is like a, um, pastel white, um, uh, it's bright, it looks like a sash, and, um, there's, like, there's flame energy in it, and it's just burning hot. Anyone taking part in this, yeah. the color will be different to each person. Yeah. So, I was just tuning into one. There's gold and one's too. Um, so these, they're all different colors, really. There's pink. Mine's is uh, like an ROG red. It's just interesting to see millions of them everywhere. But I guess the light transferring through grids is just so much of activity right now. So. I just thought that was interesting. It's so many of them. What I'm joined to do, David, after this event is to nip on the dragons, the dragons can create a portal using their flay. Go to the magic eye, uh, planet and collect the magic spark. So we, we have a magic spark similar to Merlin's. You want to channel in the magic spark? I want to go there. <laughs> Pick it up. Or just on hand so we can talk on dragons and head out there. Yeah. Open a portal to the dragon dimension or to the magic dimension. <clears throat> it's kind of where the highest being of the universe goes to train with magic. <laughs> and obviously magic can manifest. You know, I've never known that the dragons can create portals using my fly till tonight. It looks like it's like a... Uh, so strange, it keeps changing colors. All right, let's just land on it. Magic spark is like a flame inside a cave. We just got located. It's a coincidence that it's a purple flame. Mm -hmm. Probably where Saint Germain got it from. Yeah, he probably would have got it from it. To just get it is to speak a language, a tongue or white language. So anyone with looking at this, you can get the like magic start, but don't pro Leo.
for you, who are you? Magic. The flame is like a live, it's a live being. I think we've passed what we've accepted to give it us. I'm going to show our hearts. There's a lot of people in this room. What the heck are you guys doing here? Started out with a snake lady. And this big D. Passo. Are you seeing images of beings? In the flame. Oh, in the flame. Yeah. Okay, so it's not actual weeds. It's just connected to people who have used this before. I was going to say that, yeah. All the ones who've got me. It's bad. Oh, All the ones who've got the spark are guardians of the flame. Wow. Basically, everyone who's used it is check, checks the next person to get it to see if they're worthy. So many beautiful beings who've used this before. Her chakras, like, versus, uh, I guess ours are too. It's just probably just not see it. Uh, well, let's return. Let's return back to Earth. Just show our gratitude. Uh, let's bring as many of keys and codes for anybody who wants to uh, experience Earth. Let's bring codes. Gifts. All right, so we're turning back, or go back to for the Milky Way galaxy. Interesting. Out there, closing the portal behind us after the three of the dragons. Uh, members of the Earth Alliance with us. I guess they just came for backup support. I was going to have her backs covered. <laughs> Thank you guys. Appreciate it. Let's go back to, uh, let's, go, let's go back, just bring in our dragons to bring us back to where we are right now. So, wherever you are in the world, just call yourself back. Your dragons take you back. All your energies with the gifts. Right. Sure has been nice. We need to anchor and ground when we get that. After all that ground, so it's gonna breathe in again. Exhale, grab my light.
that is strange. I just became aware of a dimension that's just above Earth, where ascended tree conscious is. Like the trees that have ascended, they're conscious. They are manifesting into light beings. Maybe they always were. Okay, so they spent a lot of years uh, connected to everything on the earth. Be able to, come to, to be able to come back is what not on earth. As we are becoming, as we are ascending off the earth. We have experienced everything on earth. So we're ready for more human experiences. Ones that we've done before and ones that we've not done. So when anyone's ready, just come present in yourself. Come present in yourself. Centered in yourself. Where where you are, where that you are at home, where you are becoming aware of it. Just wiggling your fingers and wiggling your toes. And when you are ready to open your eyes, for a dull moment, man. I was supposed to be just a, a little play for Tuesday. <laughs> I know, right? That might as well have been Tuesday. Sheesh. <laughs> Good plan, though. Uh, it's a good thing we did a pre plan. Mm. Are we going there on Tuesday as well, or being smell? No idea. That was just insane <laughs> how much light that was. You got my in buzzing in my head's gone well I can just about hear you. And I've got pains in my back and my, my heart chakra was quite painful. Doing that. That's probably because you did clearing just before this. Mm. Imagine as you're getting fully clear, you're taking out all this light, and you just start on some crazy light on top of it all. Kind of, I can't even imagine how you're It's a whole other level of coolness to the adventure. Um, it's quite amazing. That's probably one of the best. <laughs> People have seen this might not think it, but I think that was one of the best for energy anyway. Yeah, for sure. But when you said this face is being, I saw the beings in the thing, and I've never seen the summer weird. Like, There's this uh, blue scaly lady that um, was like a snake lady, mm -hmm. and she's on the planet. And uh, she's like, what are you doing with this? Right? Like, questioning me as of what? <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? And uh, I guess she was a protector. Protector. Like, you just can't come here and take it this. And then this uh, huge consciousness of that planet, this huge male, male consciousness, is like, just look like a huge titan energy. He looks at me and asks me the same question. And I'm like, are we not allowed to take this? She says, you have to prove that you're worthy. Show us your heart. So I showed him both our hearts, like our collective heart feel, because we were merged. So we'll unmerge now, and then we'll unmerge with everybody else. Um, showed him our collective heart. And then he said, yeah, you're, you're worthy to take this one. So anyone watching it, they might get it, they might not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at the draw. 